In 1944, London heard a sound no one had ever heard before, the explosion of the world's first long-range ballistic missile. In the 1930s, most military analysts dismissed rockets as science fiction. Artillery ruled the battlefield, and liquid-fuel rockets sounded like dreams from a lab. But at Peenemünde, on Germany's Baltic coast, engineer Wernher von Braun and his team were building something no army had ever seen. On October 3, 1942, the V-2 made history. It became the first human-made object to reach the edge of space, soaring over 80 kilometers high. Germany now had a weapon that traveled faster than sound. So fast, no pilot could intercept it and no radar could track its arc in time. Hitler saw its potential instantly. In September 1944, V-2 rockets were launched against London and later Antwerp. Each missile carried nearly one ton of explosives, slamming into cities at over 3,500 kilometers per hour. More than 3,000 V-2s were fired before the war ended. But behind the technological leap was a darker truth. Much of the rocket was built by forced laborers at Middle Badora, where thousands died under brutal conditions. Ironically, the weapon meant to secure Hitler's future instead shaped humanities. After the war captured V-2 technology and von Braun himself became the foundation of the U.S. space program. The rocket built for destruction became the rocket that sent humans to the moon.